Investors, when you directly invest in a private company, the management team of the company usually holds the key to success. It is so important that you have an incredible relationship with the management of the company and that the management trusts you. In this video, we will talk about the importance of building trust with the management team when you buy a private company. We will first talk about how trust goes both ways. And then we'll talk about how trust affects reporting. And we'll end the video with a final thought. So let's get started with the fact that trust goes both ways. Investors, if you invest in a company, well, there's a good chance that you trust the management team. To earn your trust, the management team probably has shown you that they have the skills and expertise needed to build the company, they'll be accountable for their actions, and they will put your best interests as investors ahead of their own best interests. Now, it is so important that the management team trusts you as well. If you're going to invest in a private company, you'll want the management team to feel comfortable being transparent with you. If you don't earn management's trust, well, among other things, there is a good chance that this can affect how management reports bad news and reports good news to you as an investor. This moves us to our next point, which is how trust affects reporting. After you invest in a private company, there'll be quite a few ups and downs along the way. When things go wrong, especially if it is a prolonged issue that will materially affect the business in the future, which will in turn affect the value of your investment, you will want the management team to be transparent about it and communicate the issue with you early on. Sometimes management will withhold bad news from investors in an effort to try to turn the company around so that there's no longer bad news. The challenge with this is that if the management team can't turn the company around, not only will they eventually have to share the bad news, but they will also have to reveal that they have been hiding the bad news, which will hurt the trust in the relationship. As an investor, you can proactively build trust with a management team right from the beginning of the relationship, and the management team has confidence that you will have faith in them, well, they will be transparent when bad news occurs. Now, sometimes if there is not a good trustworthy relationship between the investor and the management team, in an effort to not share bad news with investors, the management team will also withhold good news in an effort to save the good news to offset the future bad news. In addition, when some management teams exceed expectations, they may understate their performance to investors so that the management teams will have more wiggle room for poor performance in the future. This is known as sandbagging. Now, here's a final thought. Investors, trust is such an important factor when investing in private companies, but you have to remember that it goes both ways. Your goal is to have a long-term win-win relationship with management, and trust will help you get there. In this video, we talked about the importance of building trust with the management team of a company. We first talked about how trust goes both ways, and then we talked about how trust affects reporting. If you have any questions or comments about the relationship between the investor and the management team, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please click the like and subscribe buttons. And in the description below, you'll find links to our unique private equity newsletter that provides exclusive commentary on recent private equity deals as well as our website and our LinkedIn page, where you can find more information on many private equity topics.
Thanks, and we'll see you in our next video.